Oh yeah. I didn't know what else that meant. Really, what was mouse five for you? Mouse five is the fifth button on my mouse. But <laughs> 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 I didn't know which one it was, but I found it. <laughs> Kaz losing his oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant. Right, Stopping it. I'm, I stopped it. I'm trying to try to hit the button. Oh my god! And there it goes. What's up, cats and kittens? Welcome to Quarantine Time, uh, your new podcast for quarantine. Sorry, everybody locked in house jail right now with their with their toilet paper and their soda pops and whatever else the fuck your kids are doing these days. I don't even know. Nothing's changed in my world, but I'm just a boy with a cat. And yeah, same. I don't know where my cat is, uh, but yeah, I got one around here somewhere. Um... Other than that, this is DKG Wolf, the Drunk Kids Gaming Podcast. I'm King Cass. That's Curly. Uh, that opening video brought to you by uh, Leon and uh, Curly learning how to count. That boy knows how many, how many fucking Help buttons are on his mouth. Help me understand what you found so funny about that. I mean, I get <laughs> the joke. Just, the bit. It, it's just like help asking you a question. Like you, you guys have been playing the new Call of Duty um, uh, Battle Royale. Uh, stuff and and help was asking you a question. Yeah, this, what, this was, what I this was, was live during question. during during a, a Thursday, I think, or Wednesday. Yeah, I'm not and realizing like, how much yeah, cat hair is inside my mouse. Uh, he's like, yeah. What is what is your what is your mouse five do? So like, to, what, what to, 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 on your mouse. <laughs> to preface that though, in reality, I did have a conversation right before that where uh, I was like, huh, I can't pick up this gun. It's a new game. I had, you know, I had looked at bindings and then I was like, yeah, I'm not going to fuck with bindings, whatever. Maybe I changed something. I don't know. But all, all I know is it's beta. Beta? Was it beta? I don't even know. But I was playing it and there was a couple of things that just weren't bound. Like I couldn't do certain things and it was just giving me this weird like bar that was like hovering that says push this button. And then there was no button. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And then I was like trying to pick up stuff and someone was like, or I was like, hey, how do you pick up a gun? And someone was like, uh, dumbass, it's fucking f and i was like oh okay well f's not working <laughs> and every other button i think is supposed to work so i went to the interface on stream you know i had the stream up and i, I go down i'm trying to scroll around I'm trying to like be like pick up item pick up item whatever anyways it happened to be uh it just it just was called use is what the action was called and it was not bound to anything and or no it said it said bound to fifth button and it just showed a picture of a generic looking fucking mouse button and it said fifth button. And I'm looking at my mouse going like, huh? <laughs> like, okay. Okay. Let's get, I mean, it's going to be one of them. And so I just like, I went over the item and I was like, doot, 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 doot. Like, I don't know if it's going to be the ones that change the DPI or the sniper button. You know, I got a sniper button on the side uh, over there. Uh, don't yeah. work anymore. But anyways, I, I eventually hit one and it picked it up and I was like, ah, cool, 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 cool. That's the button. I don't know how to explain this. There is not. The, the, these are the two buttons. These little thin guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have those too. And so, the, so I think it, it's also back and forward on like um, yeah, yeah. On websites. You yeah. can use them to go back. And but, forward. but sometimes these buttons, these ones that do the DPI change, whatever these yeah. are, sometimes these ones register as things in certain applications. Yeah. And those are not usually on DirectX. So uh, I knew no, no. which button I You're pressed, but at the same time, yeah. like, I don't know what the name of it is. And so I, as soon as I found it out, I was like, oh, cool. That's my fifth button. I'll use that from now on. And then Hill was like, yo, legitimately, question. Hey, where was your fifth button on in that situation? And I'm assuming because he's got his own mouse and he's like he couldn't find his own fifth button. And I'm like, so immediately I go into analytical mode in my brain. And I'm, I'm obviously I'm still playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I look down at my mouse. 
<laughs> and I want to give a description of what this button is. <laughs> mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I and I immediately was just like, it's the fifth button. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean that's what it is. <laughs> At this point, this is the only way I know how to describe it. <laughs> you are you are literally those threads of of shit we go to on fucking Tom's tech and shit like that, where it's just like, hey, been trying to figure this out for a long time. You know, I mean, it says that it should be this application. And I just can't figure it out. Any help would be great. And then you post later, like, figured it out. It's actually the that application. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Just like, wait, no, that doesn't help. <laughs> How'd you get there? Show your work. Show I, your work. What, I'm, what I'm trying to say, Hilp says you didn't even try for a description. Uh, what I'm trying to explain here and use this time in this, uh, this soapbox for is I did go through a whole process in my head. It just didn't seem like that because the answer comes out so quickly. But no, I was, I was, I was the guy that was, I was definitely like, whew, man. Already, I, I'm literally, I'm just letting go of the anxiety of the fact that I was trying to figure out why I could pick up a gun in a game where you die permanently, and I'm live streaming looking like an idiot, and then three, I was like, okay, it's all gone. Oh man, I found out. It wasn't me. I'm not an idiot. It's one of these buttons that are randomly on here, and it got assigned to it. Cool, cool, cool. And then he was like, what button is that? And I'm like... <laughs> And all of that conversation I just had went through my head before I did outwardly say, it's the fifth, it's the fifth one. <laughs> it's that. It's there. It's right there. It's great. The good button. Yeah. Didn't I never even show it. the mouse. Didn't do anything. Just straight goes. It's the fifth button on my mouse. We are in a live stream. <laughs> I don't know about you people and your 12 fucking side buttons and all that shit. How do you, what do you, what do you call them? North quadrant? West quadrant? <laughs> like, what is it? Like, <laughs> There's no numbers. That's let me go with that. There's no labels on this fucking mouse. So, whatever. I can't help it. I can't help you. Can't help anyone. I'm not the person to ask for it. But I appreciate uh, that being made into a clip because those are funny. It's a good clip. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good a good clip. clip. People what? should do that more often. Well, the majority of the good clips are clip. when Kaz laughs hard. It's just whenever you get a good Kaz, laugh, a good Kaz belly laugh is a fantastic time. Uh, it's uh, you don't discount that with a uh, with. With anything, some of the best times are when when Kaz is enjoying himself. Oh yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it turns out the world's dead. Uh, <laughs> the whole world's gone. Fuck! I touched my face. Um, yeah, I know that's a bit yeah, I got, right now where people yeah. are talking about that a lot. But I some someone mentioned like, hey, the biggest thing I've learned. This is on some Twitter. Or I don't even, I don't have anyone to credit with, but someone someone posted something that I read that was like. Things I've learned from this uh, this this current virus thing, and they're like all these small like percentage of like oh you probably should you know clean yourself more you should wash your hands longer I don't do that and it was like the biggest thing I've learned I fucking touch my face all the fucking time oh yeah bro and I was like I never oh, thought God. about that I was sitting in a car while NPR has this like. Just a heads up, just to remind everyone, don't touch your fucking dumb face. I was sitting there with my, like, fucking ring finger in my mouth. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> shit. I guess, I guess so. You know, like, uh, whatever. I, yeah, I'm dead. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing, man. Like, there's no way for me to get around that, right? There's just no way. There's no I'm way I'm now. ever going to stop it. that. I'm itchy. Because... I got an itchy face. <laughs> Yeah, we have beards, bro. You got to fucking get in there. You just start playing. You know what I mean? Like, you're in here doing this shit, doing maintenance. like All day, like, I'm fucking cleaning this shit up. Just just massaging those hairs in so they don't go yeah. natty and shit. They get all fucking nasty yeah, and yeah. tied together. Yeah, whatever. So it's just, it's, it's a thing you just can't help, man. Like, I'm always just pulling out fucking dead ass hairs out of my beard and all kind of shit. And like, like I fucking, I, I am a... A prone eye itcher. I just get in there and I'm like, oh, mm. my eyes itch. Mm-hmm. You fucking, you fucking get in there with a knuck. <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, yeah right right in that where the sleep where the sleep gets you where the Sandman leaves those little nuggets of sand or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the legitimate reasons are for it. But when you get those big crusty crystals up in the, up in your eyeballs, <laughs> those things, man, I dig out. I dig out. I gouge them out. That's my life. <laughs> But. so yeah it's a it's a it's a trying experience uh 
everybody's going crazy. Everybody's doing their things, but we're here. We're having fun. Uh, went hiking today out in the woods. Got a. Probably got some fucking monsters inside of me now because I got so much mud in my shoes. Um, how are the but, how how are how is the the trails out where you're living? People all hiking, people hanging out. Uh, so we went to one today. It was, it was smaller one. It's not. It's kind of out of the way. So there weren't too many people there. We did see we, there were cars as if people were going out there hiking. Uh, but I think there's like a trail that goes one way you know, around an area and, a, and then another trail that goes off and down somewhere. Uh, I, I, I think the other people were using that trail because there were a lot of cars. We just nev never saw anyone except for one kid who was staring at us outside of their house because it's one of these trails that go past houses and this kid is just looking out of his window at us as we're, like, walking walking through the woods. Uh, what's up, Looms? Hi. Uh, but, yeah. There's there's houses out there, so it's it's like a, a it's like a really really small trail. So you come to this part where you go to a loop, like you you're walking like kind of it just goes up a hill around and back down, and through the tree line is a neighborhood, like like oh. but some of the houses are close enough like at their their back side of their houses are facing like sure. all the this forest forest because uh i'm sure that's part of why it's a five hundred thousand dollar neighborhood <laughs> um backyard access to a hiking trail yeah yeah i'm trying i'm trying i'm sorry for the weird questions i'm trying i'm like there uh, this this lines up heavily this could be its own fucking bit in regards to curly doesn't understand geography or other places that aren't san diego i'm just like a, a hiking trail is usually at this point for for san diego locked into like a government sanctioned fucking zone there you don't you don't yeah. you don't go on a fuck you're like you're not hiking on a trail and be like oh there's jake's house down the street like uh but you know that's because i don't understand fucking any other place in the world uh let me see if I can find. Uh, uh, Aaron, Aaron was talking about that today. We were we were having the conversation in regards yeah, to. Uh, okay. We were having the conversation in regards to uh, DKG Welp in Vegas, uh, and I was like, "Yo, if we if we don't do this, then we need to do some kind of local shit, right?" Because I'm having some fucking hardcore yeah. cabin fever. It's been too long since I've seen or hung out on a vacation standpoint, and I was looking forward to April too hard. And I was like, if I don't have a fucking, if I don't have a vacation, I'm going to fucking lose my shit and it's going to get nasty. So we need to do something. And she was like, oh, we should just, we should all go camping out here. And I was like, well, that's a, that's a nice segue into the apocalypse that would happen. Like we, we already be out in the forest and then we just learn that everything is dead and then we have to stay out there and I can start a farm or some shit. Let's do it. I'm like, whatever. What is going to be the best way to show you this? Uh, oh, all right. I'm going to just give you a big ass link in chat. Because I know it's going to be a giant ass Google link, but uh, that don't work. That is not even clickable. Fuck yeah, bro. Lose yourself, uh, dance. This is a big green square. Or yeah, so uh, if, if you're looking at that, right? Uh, weird uh, shark, man. If you kind of <laughs> zoom in, so the little dotted green lines are the trail, right? Where, where it kind of breaks off, and then you see that, that those streets. That's that's a neighborhood, right? And those <laughs> those streets face the fucking trail, so like people's houses are just right there, and they could just sit out on their porch and look at you walk through the fucking forest. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah same yeah. over here. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That well, that that one's just a hard road. <laughs> like if you go over a little bit, that's that neighborhood. So like when you're walking, you see the houses, and then mm -hmm. you see the trail. Yeah, those houses right there. Just some kid was just staring at us with his naughty ass nose. Like, <laughs> Mom, there's people walking in the woods. Yeah, it's a fucking hiking trail, Jimmy. <laughs> That's what they do. Sorry, we Jim. We don't care. We're scoping out your house, though, because we're going to come fucking get you later, Jimmy. Yeah. Yo, no fences, man. No fences. No fences. No fences. Guns? No fences. I'm sure guns. It's out in the boons. Who needs fences when you got guns? Boons, but uh, yeah, no fences. Yeah, man. just no fences. What's a fence gonna stop a gun? Can't. 
You know me, that's Curly's personal motto. God, <laughs> you're one of these people. Um, yeah, so went to that, uh, then went to brunch, braved the brunch crowd today. Um, went to one place. No, no, no brunch run ins? Nah, still full of fucking people. And they were like, yeah, the wait's an hour. <laughs> it's like, oof. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Laugh, laughing about, like, so I, I went out today. I, uh, I've talked about this before. If my, if, if my weekend itinerary doesn't involve having to leave the house, I'm typically a happy person. And so, like, Friday hit, and, I, and like, my coworker was like, hey, you got anything planned this weekend? And I was like, oh, thank God I don't. I got nothing. I got I got to do anything. So Friday and Saturday went by, and I I kind of you know regressed into to hermit curly, and I was enjoying myself. But then Sunday this morning hit, and I was like, oh, I should leave the house for like at least a minute or so. So I went and I got uh, I went and I ordered wings from a place down the street that's uh, only carry out only, and I, I was like, oh, I'll just go down there, hang out, you know, pick up the wings, and I'll have something to eat later in the day. Whatever. Uh, but anyways, I was driving, and I, one of the things that you can mention about San Diego is, uh, uh, for no uncertain circumstances, uh, due to the whole uh, virus shit, the roads are fucking empty, which is nice. Um, but I was like, okay, cool, so there's going to be everything that's a lot less packed. But I drove by uh, the taco stand, which is somehow some miraculously uh, uh, populated, very small 300 square foot. Uh, Mexican restaurant out here in La Jolla and uh, it always has a line around the corner of people and I was like oh, I wonder what yeah. the taco stand's doing and I drove by and it had you know 100 people outside just in a line <laughs> and I was like eh, no one gives a shit alright everyone's piece of shit everyone's fucking garbage <laughs> you're, you guys are literally doing anti what you're supposed to be doing because you're gonna get uh, the I, what you consider the best Rito in the fucking city? Like, what is this? Is not yeah, essential, bro. man. Like, it's like, hmm. you know what? I know that there's a chance that I can risk my health, but fuck it. I gotta get that Rito. I gotta get that Rito. Uh, They're delicious, though. So, I've told a story where I left. Uh, I wanted to see if it would happen, and I ordered Postmates from the taco stand in the middle of the evening when it was one of the times that I had Eric over for a live stream and it was so, so that means that we ordered food at like six o'clock okay. on Postmates, which is rush hour from a mm -hmm. place that was right down the street from my house, just mm -hmm. right there, but is notorious for having a shitty line. And I was like, I wonder if the Postmates guys, like I I've talked to people that work for Postmates and they usually will cut the line and just grab the food and the people that do it will want you to do that. They want you to come in and be like, Hey, I'm from Postmates. I just want to pick up the thing, but blah, 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 I'm out. I don't want to I don't order anything. And uh, I got this message from this guy while while we're live streaming this, this this slew of text messages that are like, it took him three hours to get here. And he was like, it was a lot of like, hey, so sorry, dude, I'm here in the line right now. It's just a crazy line. I'm gonna see what I can do next in, an hour later. It's fucking nuts, dude. I'm still in line. Are you cool? Don't worry about it. I'm still coming. And I was like, that's cool. And I felt so bad. I felt so bad, but I also don't care. Uh, yeah. Whatever. It's crazy. Uh, we 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 should um we should talk about Vegas then. Yeah. So at this point, we're still some of us are still going. If 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 you can and if you want to try, because most places have programs for you to be able to get refunds and things like that. Yeah. Even on things that are generally non-refundable, well, uh, except for maybe Spirit Airlines, because they're a piece <laughs> of shit. Before we go into the talking about refunds, well, let's go with what our current status is at this point. Um. Yeah. Uh, some people, many people, actually, a lot of people brought up to me over the course of the weekend uh, from Friday to now um, Sunday, uh, uh, two differing, very, very, very similar, but very differing opinions of things. One of them was very heavily, uh, hey, heads up, a lot of people are canceling in Vegas. Are we canceling because I don't give a fuck and I'd rather go no matter what. And I would love to mm -hmm. op have the opportunity to use, utilize and, and take advantage of um what would be cheaper flights, cheaper uh, hotels, which we're currently at at this point. A lot of the hotels, at least as of Friday, were a lot cheaper and a lot um, discounted and whatnot. Um, it didn't seem like it was going to go crazy. And then you fast forward to this weekend and you get a bunch of information because the government put out their mandates or they're not mandates, but their recommendations and, and everything. And people have been following suit. 
Uh, I was waiting for that news to kind of decide how we're going to handle things. I'm of the yep. opinion personally that I very much don't want to cancel it because I don't want to put anyone out that has solidified plans. If, uh, one of my initial reactions was very much like if someone was going to go or someone made the go, we're a small community. Like if we don't have our 20 or 30 people, we are still, I still have fun with the five that show up. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, no. First year of Vegas, there was only. Yeah. Yeah, Six yes, yes. Year zero was the was the, the the hot four group, right? Like it was it yeah. was like I think JVZ, Sunbun, me, you, like it was just a chill. It was chill time. Um and that's still fun and that's still worthwhile in, in my opinion for the channel and whatnot, which is what technically this is all necessarily about. But um with with the current situation that happened this morning, I did get inundated with a lot of people uh messaging me directly that were saying, Hey, uh, are you going to be mad if I don't go? Because I'm now no, concerned. No. And I, I, I think, I get, yeah, so forefront-wise, uh, just to get ahead of that, I would like everyone to know, uh, despite how my demeanor sounds, there is no chance in hell anyone, uh, including myself or any of the mod group or anyone that, that actually is a, a voice in this channel, is going to give you any shit for not going. Uh, you are the ultimate person that is going to take care of you, and they're the ones who's responsible for your health, and there's no chance... I will tell you uh, that what you're deciding is bad. Uh, you assess the situation as much as you can. Uh, that being said, uh, I, I do want to have an official statement in regards to our thing. As of current, I feel like the best, uh, and I'm open for discussion for this. If, 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 uh, if other people have opinions of why this is dumb or not uh, the right response, then please hit me up because we can discuss this. I want to be informed. Um, but from what I can tell so far, a lot of people uh, around the country and the globe are kind of at this point hard canceling march like just march is gone we're just fuck march march is out the door you know march can go fucking fuck itself uh april is going to be a question uh and a lot of a lot of things that i've read uh from different uh either government facilities or uh uh, uh minorly owned small restaurants and whatnot are all saying hey we're gonna cancel april because we were informed that that's the best option for our employees and our people um, my biggest concern, obviously, with Vegas is if we get to Vegas and there's nothing there, because a lot of the restaurants are closing, a lot of the shows are closing, a lot of the mm -hmm. hotels at this point, from as of like two hours ago, some of the hotels are closing. So that's yeah. that's a problem. But most of them are closing to do like kind of kind of assessment and yeah. deep 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 cleaning. But but the, what the, um, the, most of them are saying uh, April's or uh, uh, March is closed. March is just going to be done, and then as we get closer to April first, our intent is to reassess for that. So our our event is in the middle of April, and if we get closer to... I, I, at this point, I'm saying, I'm still going, but I don't... I don't give anyone shit if they say, I can't do it, I don't want to do it, I want to try it, because I'm concerned and I think it's going to get worse. And that's fine. Yeah. I will still be going as far as I'm concerned right now. Um, no matter what. At this point, unless every 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 single it, it, if there's one, I'll go. Okay, <laughs> if everybody else cancels, then uh, whatever. But that being said, uh, Curly out there in the <laughs> if if we do get closer to April and it looks like this is going to be uh, longer and more prolonged and crazy, and and it's more places of if, it, basically if more places are closed or if Plaza does something crazy, then then we'll reassess at that point. But yeah, I I, I will I will I want to say April first just like everybody else, is when we'll make an announcement for what we're doing. But I feel like we'll know going into April 1st. So I, w I just, I just want to say, as as we get closer to April, that's when we'll reassess how April's going to get canceled or not canceled. And if it gets canceled, whatever. And, and we've it, 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 all of this information is uh, in, my, in our current cons and Discord meetup room. Uh, and that's where I'll post the majority of the stuff. So if you do want to be informed, I know a lot of people aren't in there. Uh, I've had a lot of people that are like, what do you mean? What'd you say? And I was like, I just posted this in the discord. It's there. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, it'll be there. The information will be there. Um, I just think that's, that's where we're going to be at it with it. Um, I, I would like to be ahead of it. If, if it does end up being like, if we look at, if, if, if we get to March fucking 20th, checking if it wasn't March 20th already, if we get to like March 20, 25th and, and it looks like more and more Vegas places are closed and then Plaza is not going to be open then there's no point for us to go and we we have many options at this point like we can 
most places are going to be able to refund your money. Most places are uh, I, I, even even up until April first, we can cancel the Groupon or anyone that got the Groupon. We can cancel Plaza uh, hotel stuff. We can cancel most things. So we'll go from there. But uh, I don't want to because I really want to see everybody. So you know, I just I just want everyone I just want everyone to have a good time. But at that point, uh, there I, I just want to find something else to do because uh, one of one of the uh, what I was trying to think of is in regards to going forward. Are we going to the options that are on the table are basically uh, you know stick with it and try to weather the storm, uh, cancel it and just do TwitchCon in San Diego as our next event, uh, lean in heavily with TwitchCon and be like, hey, everyone that couldn't go to Vegas now reassess and take that money and go to San Diego, uh, or push it out and try to do something may you know may august you know like maybe we can we can do something else i know that uh uh, the frog pants stuff has been canceled so that was supposed to be happening i think this week or the next week uh and they've all canceled their shit everyone on facebook is posting their plaza casino refund uh (laughs) posts and whatnot um i feel bad for them because they 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 moved their convention from when we were doing ours into this month and that didn't look like a, ba- a good option at this point, you know. So, yeah, you know, dumb dumbs. Uh, no. Just like, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. No. So, basically, at this point, like we said, take your take your health and safety first. Um, at this point, we're still going because uh, uh, we like to roll the dice here a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, we, I, I, we... I like what someone said. Is that it escalated very quickly from should we still do Vegas, which was my legitimate question. Uh, to very, very possibly, we cannot do Vegas even if we wanted to, and that's that's where my decision making will go on. Is if is if we get to a point uh, as 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 April comes closer, where I don't literally foresee a way that us to do Vegas is an option, <laughs> then then that's where I will I will hard cancel it. But if it's an option and it's just you know less, then I'm still down to hang out. I don't give a shit. I've, I've everything else is a sunk cost to me at this point so um i'll be there sitting in the pool by myself i think it'd be a fucking fun vegas experience just a dead empty vegas <laughs> like why not but we will play it by ear and we'll keep you guys informed as as uh, the days go on yeah uh so that being said do you want to just do news uh no 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 Let's fill that knowledge hole. So, uh, for, for this week of news, so, uh, we decided to do just some things that weren't super duper corona related, except for maybe my first story. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got a couple too. I got yeah, one. <laughs> so, uh, if in the future you would like to uh, link us to stories that you would like to see us talk about on the show, join our Discord. Uh, and when you do, you can go on to our community channel and find the uh, the channel called DKG Well Podcast, where you can post stories mm-hmm. like this one that I think, uh, if I'm correct, comes from Leon or Puck. Uh, no, this one comes from Leon. So uh, KFC was going to run some ads uh, to talk about how good their chicken was. It was so good. Their chicken was so good that it was finger licking good. Hold on. And then the coronavirus happened. <laughs> oh, oh. I was going to say, I feel like it is. And then, and then that's problematic, I guess, for this time period. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Bad timing. Yeah. Bad timing, yo. Yeah. Uh, bad, fing- time. fa- bad timing. But how do you how do you advertise face no touchy licking good? <laughs> like, uh, how do you <laughs> how do you how do you rebrand? Uh, how do you do a hard pivot? Um, uh, I, I I have an immediate question that is unrelated to to any of this except for the fact that you just brought up a KFC story. Is yeah. the general consensus and and just I'm asking you directly, Kaz? Well, okay. I know how I feel about it. Is KFC good? Brother, I haven't been to a KFC in I don't know how long. I I I am a I am a fucking if I'm going to a chicken place, I'm a Popeyes man. Okay, through and through. So w- without looking at the chat right now, I will just uh-huh. throw out my opinion, and it's it's very oddly of uh, not oddly it's always kind of the way uh, very similar to yours. I don't remember the last time I went to KFC, 
That being said, my memories of KFC are a lot of my childhood. And I feel like the immediate thing that came to my head was the South Park episode where uh, they're all very excited because the mom brought home like a bucket of chicken from KFC. And they all go, they're like, oh, well, uh, oh, boys, before you can have any of this, this KFC, you need to go get all the rest of the groceries out of the car. And they all go out, but Cartman stays in and he eats the skin off of every fucking piece of chicken in the bucket. <laughs> and he is so happy and everyone else just starts crying. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I do remember them being really good, but I feel like my adult palate might be have grown. <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong, is KFC still good? I see. Like I said, I haven't. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna have to go and try it and see. But like, as far as I know, I'm a Popeyes guy because they they got the spicy chicken. It's so good. It's if you just... bring up, hold on. If if chat, if you bring up that fucking greased lightning, goddamn sweet tea bullshit, whatever it's called, Mountain <laughs> Dew sweet tea, fucking what is it? It's like lightning, lightning fucking the tea, honey, honey peach Mountain Dew. God, get says. get the, the fuck out of my Dew. house. I there there was like. Uh, uh, Biff Lightning's fucking Speed Mountain Dew fucking goddamn sweet tea, S- Southern Mountain Dew hot hotness. It sounds disgusting. It sounds like a sugar overload of fucking grossness, and I hate everything about it. Uh, but don't defend it because you guys are monsters. <laughs> uh, hope said he likes the KFC mac and cheese. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a. Mm. See, I can't do. I, I can't do takeout that. mac and cheese. I, I like a baked mac and cheese. I don't like. I don't like a. I don't just like normal mac and cheese that that people have. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Cause uh, oh. So, there's so much about KFC that is a. Um, a, uh, w- there's got to be a term for it where, where it invokes a visual memory where I just, I can picture it. As soon as you said KFC's Mac and cheese, like you get that. It's like a, it's like a, a, the side container. It's a styrofoam. It's tiny. It's flat. It's got that little fucking cellophane container top over it. And you go to open it and it's weirdly adhered. It's weirdly <laughs> adhered to it. And you open it and it smells like all plastic in the world. And you're just like, should I eat this? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and in some butts, it's neon. neon yeah, yeah, oh. And I feel like I feel like I ate the fuck out of that as a kid, but I ate it, I ate it so much it made me sick, which makes I'm not sure if I ate it so much it made me sick or if I just ate it and it made me sick because <laughs> I feel like that might be the situation. Which KFC is you going to where it's orange? Uh. All, all, of them? all. Yeah. <laughs> everyone. Wait, a... Oh yeah, um, it's like a yeah, it's like a weird, it's that weird neon nacho sauce, like nacho mac and cheese, which is fine, I guess. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I need to go back and uh. I'll have a I'll have a, I'll have one of these uh these bits one of these days where I go to KFC and I break keto and eat <laughs> God eat bread or eat, eat breaded and chicken um which has been a thing I've craved and mac and cheese why not I'll do it I'll do it. I'll go to all the all the restaurants a man who hasn't had fast food in a long time uh does it all uh so my new story uh to to to, to I, want, I, just want, I want to beat Kaz all the time. Uh, this one's not going to do it. Anyways, this is a uh, this, this is just a good dog being good. Um, so there was uh there was a bunch of calls. Uh, the ooh, where are they? Um, this is Massachusetts, Boston, Mass. Um, had to put out uh an information thing. On uh, on all their on all their forums, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot, um, to tell people, please uh, stop calling in about the lion on the loose, uh, because they got so inundated with a lion that was loose wandering the town, um, that that they had to actually put this out. Um, it turns out it was just a really good dog. <laughs> 
that someone gave a really shitty haircut to. Oh. <laughs> and he look, he look, if you look uh, at this, uh, there's this this cute cute boy here, which is uh oh oh, oh yeah. This is the lion. So someone gave this dog this haircut, and then sent his ass out. I don't know to wander the streets. Apparently, I don't know what people do with their dogs in Boston, Massachusetts, but apparently he's just uh wandering the streets. And uh, yeah, he's uh he's just this. He just is boy. He's just a little cute boy. Uh, I feel and... like that dog just got away in the middle of a haircut. Is what happens. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah. They were just shaving that. <laughs> he's like, oh no. Uh, I mean, it was, uh, I don't know. That's cute as fuck. Um, I love it. Uh, don't, uh, don't let your kids out without the proper train. I don't know. What the fuck are you on about? Um, <laughs> all right. I got another story here. Uh, this one is, uh, I think comes from Puck. Um, and if we don't do, uh, Vegas this year and we're looking for something to do next year, I think this is it, brother. I think I think this is the thing we go and do. I'm all here. Uh, so this is a mashable story about this exploding hammer festival uh, that happens in in uh, where's the area in, in in a town in Mexico called San Juan de la Vega. Um, if you if you play just the first couple minutes of that video that is in this article, you will un fully understand why this is the thing and why it should be celebrated. And why are we I, doing it? Oh hell yeah, brother! We're we're fucking here for it. I want I, 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 I want to know before we go into it. What is an exploding hammer? And uh, you will you will see. It's a mix of uh, sulfur and charlotte attached to the end of a metal hammer, uh, and they usually just smash it on the ground or against a metal beam. So the equivalent of taking any explosive we found as kids and hitting it hard onto a thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this yeah. is what you do when you're a kid. Uh, yeah. I'm concerned because this is the... for your audio <laughs> listeners. I, uh, the, uh, the thumbnail for the YouTube link is just uh, a man who seems to have um, lost control of his hammer to say the least. There's no, there's no trajectory. I can understand how he has now no longer at it, but he is also, uh, he's smiling, but he's also middle of a death jump away from the problem that he seemingly has created at this point. Thank you for the subscription chat. Welcome. Uh, yeah. So bloody hammer festival in San Juan de la Vega. I'm going to play this video. Yeah. Just play like a couple minutes of it. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know how much. Yeah, it's five minute long. What do you want? Uh, uh, jump to like two, two thirty. I think. Uh, we're yeah, like around a little bit before there. Yeah, right there. Um, yeah. So it's just they go out to a field <laughs> and they just smash. What are they the, smashing? TNT, it's like sulfur, and and other shit. They pack it into the hammer. It's in the hammer, uh. and then they just smash the hammer on the stuff. And you just make bigger and bigger explosions with the more it's packed. <laughs> um, it says, like, right there under it, it says about 6,000 people uh, attended the festival, and only 43 people were injured. So, yeah. I'd say those are good odds. <laughs> they, okay. Okay. Um... There, I, I'm, I'm struggling with a lot of things right now. Uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 <laughs> what, what, where I'm at mentally is, uh, dude, fucking 15 year old me would have been so fucking down with this. And I kind of hate, I kind of, everything just there. Did you see that man? Just go back like a half a second. That man almost lost everything he ever had ever right there. <laughs> just. They ain't, what do you what do you know? They ain't betting pinks on this show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 
my man's just straight going home right now. He's just like, all right. He's like, yeah, I did it. I did it. I did the one thing. I, for me, I very much uh, love this, and this is very much my youth. Uh, I immediately, my initial response was, why are you putting yourself in this situation? But at the same time, I was like, no, that was us. That was us as kids, dude. That's what we did. Like, I, I rever- I'm trying to think of there is not a place in hell if someone said, hey, man, I bet you if we put a bunch of this shit at the tip of a hammer, it'd be funny as fuck. Let's do it. And I could see us doing that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I remember. I might just do this in my own fucking backyard, brother. I, I, I'll just throw it out. I remember there was one time in my youth where we were just all sitting around and a friend of mine walked into my house and he said, hey, I got this weird glass jar. It's got a lid. You wonder if we can make a stink bomb? And we just put everything we thought was stinky into the bottle. (laughs) And then we we threw it. We threw it at it. Like, it's it. Like, it's this dumb, stupid shit that kids do. And I love that. Um, I'm also terrified. I don't know if you grew up with this, but, like, I grew up with a lot of different people that were authority figures. I... that tried to impress or take us out as kids to do fireworks that were not legal. Mm-hmm. And this feels very much like that. This feels like a, this feels like a, what I was always told of is you shouldn't go out there because you might blow your arm off. And this, this, this hard smells like uh, you're going to blow your arm off the, the movie, the game. <laughs> like, yeah. This feels like I uh, yeah. All, only ten people this year were maimed. Uh, <laughs> they lost a, a limb or a finger, and uh, I was hoping that by in the three minute section that we would get someone with at least a missing finger, being like, "I love it every year. Come out and do the thing. <laughs> it's great." Uh, yeah, yeah, dislocated shoulders. The that's a real thing too. Oh, probably. Yeah, it's probably a. a a ton of dislocated shoulders and and all kinds of things man uh in my opinion uh on that same note there is probably a lot of undiagnosed medical issues that a lot of people have been rocking a lot of people that are like oh yeah i did this uh oh yeah i've been doing this for 10 years uh uh, four years ago i definitely got a little twitch in my back (laughs) and uh yeah it's not been good ever since uh but i keep coming out you ever seen a doctor? Never been to a doctor about it. Seems like it's okay for me, but yeah, back's got a twinge. <laughs> so yeah, kind of yeah. feel like that. A little bit of a, what is that? What is that? A whiplash probably happens to a lot of people. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't really realize how much of your brain is hemorrhaging until you get home later, but for sure. The loss of probably hearing from just the, the, the fucking... Mm. At- that's like it's loud in that video right it has to be significantly louder when you're the one doing that shit and that shit is just right there at your fucking head space is that the uh the rush you're looking for though man is that the rush i mean f- fucking your safety headphones for a reason man you just throw those on yeah but i but i feel so. like i mean the one guy that came out with a fucking you know uh mask was like I feel like people are gonna make fun of him and be like, "Oh, you're not, you're not doing it the real way, bro." Yeah, yeah. Well, see, and that's called peer pressure, and that's how that's how things spread that shouldn't. That's how coronavirus spreads. You fucking <laughs> as soon as somebody's like, "Oh, you got that hand sanitizer for what are you scared of?" You got oh, everything. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, there is yeah, there's a there's a hard public shame about being responsible, right? Like. Coming to the uh, concert with your headphones in, or, your, or not your headphones, but your uh, uh, yeah. ear blockers. What is it called? What's the word for it? Uh, sound dampeners. What is the term for a fucking thing you put in your ear that is like a rubbery? Earplugs. Earplugs. That's it. Ear blockers. Earplugs. Ear blockers, baby. You know how it goes. I uh, love it. I. So speaking of, uh, this is from Iowa State, uh, from their local news out there. Um, this gentleman um, just fucking leveled up in regards to uh, his situation with uh, <clears throat> his ex-wife and uh, attorneys in a in a in a in a, in a judge. 
uh, in regards to, um, I guess, uh, uh, actually, it doesn't actually say. Uh, but yeah, they were having a, a, a domestic dispute. They were they were going back and forth to uh, uh, court, and uh, at some point, <laughs> the this man decided that he was going to publicly ask for uh, a solution to the problem. I mean, they were having a back and forth uh, argument in regards to their 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 dissolving of the marriage and all that stuff, as you do. Uh, and he thought he came up with a, a novel solution where he decided to challenge uh, his now ex-wife uh, in front of the judge um, to a trial by combat to solve all the issues. Uh, he just was like, "Yo, judge, you, you, we can we can sit here all day. We can go. We can we can uh, hem and haw all day long about the minutia and the details." But I would like to give you this option. Can we end it here? Just let me fight her. Let me fight her in her fucking face right now. Let me, uh, uh, as, as, as the quote says here, um, whoever wins gets the opportunity to rend the soul from the other's body, is what he proposed in, uh, in Iowa. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, it turns out the judge just decided to order a psych evaluation for the gentleman. <laughs> so it turns out they're not going to do any trial by combat, but it's his life. That's what's going on in Iowa. Well, I mean, you don't have, mm. to, mur you have to murder them. You just trial by combat. <clears throat> you just hit them with a... The... I'm just imagining, like, the Star Trek, like... There, I don't even, I don't even, I don't know actually the references or the episode, but I remember that in the original series, there was like a moment where like Spock and Kirk just got given big dual handed knives and were like, yo, <laughs> fucking who wins, wins forever. And uh, that's awesome. Um, I, 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 it's an option. I got what is this one? Oh, uh, so this one's from from Sunbun. It's just a it's just a, a, a security camera footage, but it's it's fucking wild, brother. Uh, so a tornado hit a an area of Nashville, and there's just a security cam footage of just a, a a security camera getting hit by a tornado and recording the whole time. Do we um, have no this audio. footage? Oh. Yeah, it's in the Washington Post link in the in the in the in the thing. But th there's no audio because it's just like a street camera. But like, it gets wild, man, and it just like reinforces to me why I will never live in the fucking middle of America. You <laughs> like, say that when you live there. I live on the coast, you idiot. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where you are. Yeah, I live on the opposite coast of you. Um, but yeah, you just see things just get go from like chill to fucking crazy in a matter of seconds. Um, and there's still people driving through here, and I think at some point you see animals running through here. Like it's just, it's just fucking wild, brother. Yeah, this is what um, Arizona you see looks like. Start to violently shape. <laughs> yeah, this is what Arizona looks like. This is what I mean. This is this is God's saying you shouldn't live here. Why'd you do this? You made a yeah. okay, and everything's dead. Are those power lines? <laughs> those look like power lines. Are power lines downed? Okay. Yeah, you just see like sparks going through the street and fucking flames just finding its way oh, out. Oh yeah, just... that crazy ghost that's over here on the right side. Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> ghost. That's water and all kind of other debris just flowing <laughs> through there. No, that's Satan. <laughs> And I'm sure at some point, I swear to God, there, a dog runs through this intersection, brother. Just like, I don't know what. There it goes. What, yeah, it goes. What is that? What is yeah. that? Oh, Muffy. What Muffy's, Muffy's going home. <laughs> like, oh, I think it's just debris rolling around. No, what is like that? That had actual move. Look at these things that have actual movement. No, it's, to them. It, that, that's, that's, that's what happens when you stream at uh, 240p. That's what happens. <laughs> Those are no, all the hellhounds getting released. 
Uh, yeah. All that, right, so you those... just showed me an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> no, yeah, no. yeah, just the escalation of that is just wild to me. Um, I mean, but that's it's just. I lived in I, I I was joking earlier, but I lived in in Arizona for six months. Oh, there's an autoplay in there somewhere. Oh, I just restarted. Uh, there's there. I lived in Arizona for six months. I uh, mm-hmm. and I came there during during the monsoon season, quote unquote. <laughs> like, I I have pictures of my car underwater at the Fry's parking lot, underwater. <laughs> and then I came out after lunch, and my car was not underwater, and it was a hundred and fucking sixteen degrees. And then I was driving home, and there was a uh, uh, a sandstorm where you could. It was literally the movie Mummy. Uh, just coming at you and with a big fucking just like monster uh, Egyptian monster priest coming at you in the sand. I uh, And then I was driving home in the first week of working at Fry's and a lightning bolt in the middle of the day just struck the school that was next to me on the street and the school's on fire. And that was across the street from my house. And I was just like, I don't think we're supposed to live here. I just don't think this is supposed to be the options. Like, I think this is just the world telling us don't live in this area. You monster. This is not a safe place. <laughs> and I, I was like, I got to get out. I mean, San Diego's not that. Footage? Uh, yeah, I, I wish I wish I owned I wish iPhones had been invented back then or anything that had fucking cameras because <laughs> I had a I had an LG flip phone at that time period and all my pictures are very shitty. But yeah, uh, those sandstorms are crazy. When you see them coming and there's a it's it's literally a rolling cloud of sand that you can just see in the horizon. Wait, oh, so so click on this video, fucking uh, puck put in? Put in. Yeah. yeah, puck. By the way, puck lives in in Arizona. Uh, but I yeah so okay that that right fucking there that that comes at you and then you start seeing the lightning bolts in it and you're like okay cool the gods don't <laughs> like us that's what I have to say yeah and also don't fucking stand there Jake God <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out uh, that shit would have just that was just happening in the six months that I lived there it is just Oh, okay. Yeah. And you, uh, again, did you not just see the lightning? It, the movie The Mummy attacks your town. It's not okay. No, fuck that. No, 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 no. There are people driving into it. No, because apparently it's just fine. It's just a little dust, as, as Time Jumper says. It's just a little <laughs> dust. This man. This man. Yeah. What's the crazy thing is okay, I'm I'm over here as a as as the 34 year old adult making fun of Jake over here who's doing yeah. this fucking storm chaser fucking bit that he's got going yeah, on in this video. Yeah. But, but when I lived in Ari- no, in when I lived heart. in Arizona and the monsoon season hit, me and my 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 roommate, we were like, let's get in the van, bro. Let's go fucking see what's happening. And we drove around and just we f- uh, in 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 a horrible video filmed like cars just getting floated down the streets like and i was like yeah but we were driving into the fucking problems like an idiot like an asshole so yeah that's what storm chasing is all about remember like where what happened to that jake out there fucking (laughs) where's that guy going where's that guy going (laughs) he gone you got to get to the Walmart, man. Uh, whatever. I hate it. I hate it. people are weird. But uh, yeah. Oh, Isn't this what the movie The Mist is also based on too? There's just fucking the mist comes and just stays, and then there's a monster in it. Like fuck no, bud. I, I the the my concern again is uh-huh. we already have enough issues trying to survive. When you're in an area that is prone to that once every now and then, then fuck you. Don't build a home there. Don't build a city. <laughs> Sucks. I just, I don't know. 
Man, you know what would suck? You're just out there. You're out there. You're having a good, good time, right? You're you're living your life. You're like, mm, you know what? Car's got a little bit of dust on it. Let's go fucking detail it up. Let's go to the fucking let's go to the fucking the the the, the washing shop. Fucking get her all nice. Get the armor all on the tires. The fucking washing shop. The whole bit. Uh, get it all nice. Fucking pull it out. You're fucking driving back home, and this shit happens. I'd be pissed. I'd be so mad. You uh, so you live in a different world. Um, for one, uh, so just to express this, you, uh, uh I don't know the term here, so help me out if I can. Um, you're you have concerns in regards to the bottoms of your car rusting because the salt that get kicks up into your under. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that was something I had to learn when I was like 25 <laughs> because I, there's no salt on our roads. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Oh, that's why everyone talks like that. You look at like Boston fucking cars and the undercarriage has got a fucking, it's just ripped to shit because the shit and the rust and everything. And I'm like, what is that from? And everyone's like, Oh, cause the salt. And I'm like, what's salt? What is salt? Are you talking about? Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but then at the same time, like, um, I feel like people that are on your coast or not your coast, but anywhere else don't necessarily, um, like there is a comment, like it, people that bring computers into a retail IT place, no matter where you're from, I can, someone walks in and they're like, here's my computer. And I'm like, oh, that's, why is the whole backside rusted dead? And it's like, oh, do you live on the, uh, coast? Do you live in the ocean? Oh yeah, your computer probably sits next to a window, and you fucking you have the salt of the sea ocean, and then your fucking computer is destroyed. And then they're like, "Oh, I never thought about that." I'm like, yeah, well, well that's, you got to think about that shit. I, uh, when I lived in Arizona, I was informed, uh, and maybe this is wrong or I interpret it wrong because I was like 19 years old, but I, uh, I for the first time in my life had to up my insurance to include windshield damage. Because you just just rocks get kicked up yeah, into yeah, your yeah. windshield, and and no one's expecting your windshield to last more than a year out there. And also, your tires get fucked up because you're driving around in the heat and uh, 116 degree weather, and your fucking hot ass tires are going to be problematic. And it's like, yeah, uh, they're just melting to the rear. Yeah, they're like, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Insurance for tires doesn't last as long as it does in in California. <laughs> But it was one of those things that I just didn't know until I moved there. And then people were like, duh. And I'm like, oh, it makes sense. Um, so whatever. Oh, it is life. Uh, so my final story is uh, is a Corona story. Um, corona, not the drink. Not the, not the drink. No one drinks that drink. Um, I, <laughs> okay. No, I'm not even going to get into that. No one drinks that drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh what i do i do love this though just because it's a it's a little bit of a gamey uh uh story but uh amid coronavirus out outages this arcade owner um stocked all of his claw machines with soap toilet paper and hand sanitizer <laughs> so that people could win soap hand sanitizer and toilet paper I uh, during during the uh, it's shitty as fuck but this this man's uh, just put a bunch of, of his hand sanitizer up in his claw machines and toilet paper so that people could win. Uh, he does say, um, uh, it turns out we did a bunch of testing and it was very, it's very difficult to win anything. And some people have tried, but no one's won a toilet paper roll yet. <laughs> um, we used to we, we have a, a large machine that used to have a Spider-Man doll, but now there's a large Curex soap bar in there. That's the Rolls Royce of hand sanitizer. Uh and so uh yeah, yeah, this guy's uh can, can I Can I just quickly ask her what the fuck is going on with Arnold Schwarzenegger? What, uh oh. I don't I don't know and I'm scared. Oh, he's got horses. Uh huh. Are that uh, are those donkeys? I don't know these animals, and they scare they scare me. <laughs> are these his children? 
I'm not joking. They look, and I'm just, this is just fresh off my brain. They look like the uh, the uh, the creatures that got created in Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the homunculus. <laughs> okay, am I there? Am I? Is anyone else there? Uh, oh, oh, uh, like, oh, these are for my children, and I love them. Uh, you're a monster. You know that moment when you first see the homunculus in the fucking in, in, in Full Metal Alchemist, and you realize Arnold Schwarzenegger is in charge of it all. I uh, yeah, it's terrifying. And he's like, my daughter, she loves the carrots. The important thing is that you stay at home because there's a curfew now. Okay, no one is allowed out, especially someone that is like 72 years old. After you're 65, you're not allowed out of the house anymore in California. So we stay home and we eat here. He's wearing a Terminator shirt. Oh yeah, yeah he is, yummy. dude. There's so much good content in this cool. one little Twitter clip, cool. dude. Holy fuck. Loves carrots. I just had my. Bit, uh, are these your children you changed into the creatures that they are now because you tried to cast equivalent exchange arnold arnold did you try to cast equivalent exchange shit did you try to bring someone back from the dead did you see the black door look at that beautiful smile she has huh oh yes we don't need to do anything else. We can just ride on that for the rest. <laughs> These are humans or people that have voted against him, and he's used a genie to turn them in donkeys. My biggest fear right now in life is to somehow end up in Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger's land of misfit toys. If I if I end up in that area where he is petting me and be like, oh look at this guy was once curly and he is now a very happy pony boy, and he's feeding me carrots, holy shit, holy shit! I don't. That's my fear. That's my biggest fear right now. It is a land of misfit toys run by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and. Yeah. He, he's coming for you guys. <laughs> I do want to. I want to. I, I would love. I would love to have like a breakdown moment. I mean, just looking at all the shit on that, like the teapot, the stein, <laughs> the heart shaped plate. Yeah. yeah. The. I mean, that's a decent stove setup you got going on there, Arnold. Uh. Whose bag is that? Whose bag is that? <laughs> <laughs> Good timing, good timing, great. <laughs> uh, oh man! At what point Yo, in your that life? Sauce on the table is that ketchup? But at what point in your life do you decide to put up this weird pig fucking statue up of the above the door? The hood's good. I dig it. Seventy-two years old. After you're sixty-five, you're not allowed. Yeah, no. I, we all know how old you are, you monster. Yeah, what is this ramekin of fucking? <laughs> ketchup <laughs> uh, it's half drink coffee what is the golden egg what is the golden egg that's, that's, that's the equivalent exchange is that the iron is the iron man's helmet all right so arnold is now tommy was so yeah these kids do not want to be with him they're like help us we are stuck <laughs> like i don't even understand man i don't i don't understand we don't want to be here oh yeah well i'm michael and i'm jacob i've been here for 10 years <laughs> who's this chick what's this gun <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> probably fucking from Terminator. Who is on the iPad in the back? That's what I'm saying. That's a picture of him in a cowboy hat, bro. Oh, it's like a it's like a digital frame, maybe. No, I think is that that's a fish tank. A frame, is that a fish tank? I can't. I, mean, I got to go back to the link myself and yeah, look at yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that back there? I think that is a fish tank. 
Oh my god. All right, chat. Okay, we I I I got there's I got to unpack that one later. That one's going to be some tweets. I got to fucking handle that one later. <laughs> Isn't one of them Pinocchio? I hope I mean maybe Arnold took over fucking all of the land of misfit toys. That's terrifying. Um zoom and enhance my guy. Yeah, Arnold's a monster. Is that a, is that a picture of Sylvester Stallone? All right, nope, I'm going to stop. I'm sure, I'm I'm sure he stop. has one. I'm sure he has a couple. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, so on that note, um, I <laughs> held off on it for at least two weeks because Kaz hates doing summer school when there's no one else here. But my only my only prepared game is summer school, and so we're doing it. Kaz. Just get it out of the way. Get it out of the way, and only because it is a pandemic oriented summer school. Alright. So, the we're going to move into games now, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, oh, yay! It's game time. Hell yeah! With Curly. That's what I'm talking about. Only on DKG Well. Oh, yeah! Beep. <laughs> Curly stickers. Them curly stickers one of these days. Uh, so, yeah, so I have uh, prepared and uh, I'm sitting on a whole plethora of audio clips from the young Summer, uh, who is a child who has horrible, horrible pronunciation. So what we do is we play her trying to say a certain word from a theme. And Kaz is going to try to answer what the fuck she is saying. Uh, chat, it's basically since we have just Kaz here, it's going to be chat versus Kaz. Uh, I want to I wanna say, chat, if you get it, go. There's no, there's no, there's nothing holding back. Uh, if you, if you, uh, if you hear what it is and you, and you want to guess, just please hit up in chat. There's no, there's no holds. We usually, uh, hold off on this kind of stuff and we say like, uh, let the guests uh, uh, guess and everything, but no, I want I want you guys to guess against uh, uh, Kat. So uh, feel free to chime in when you know the answer. Uh, as always, uh, or actually no, as usually uh, we do. Uh, name is your buzzer, but since it's just Kaz, you just you can just say whatever you think it is, uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll go with your uh, with your first one, which is uh, uh, fuck. I was trying to find the early easy one um uh your clue is measles measles oh i didn't you win. hey yo that was definitely measles look at that measles nice i'm trying to lower the audio on that one uh yeah <laughs> Be bezos uh, your next clue. Smallpox. Um, all right, smallpox. You win. Uh, yeah, small. Smallpox. Well done. Well fucking done. Uh, let's, let's give you something that's a little difficult. Let's give you something that's a little difficult. Malaria. M Malaria. You win. It wasn't difficult. It wasn't difficult at all. Uh, yeah. No. Sunbud's quick. I think this bit is dead. I think this bit is dead, my guy. Oh, no, that wasn't hard at all. There's some nasty ones up in here. Uh, if you want a nasty one. Do it. Do it. Ooh, I did hear toilet. Now, the trouble, the, the, the trouble with Davin Parker, Chimera, and everyone else, as soon as you say something that's wrong, then that's all you fucking hear in your head. It, it's the curse. Joy. I hear toilet every time now. Joy? Joy. Joy. Not even sure what starts with those letters for an infectious disease. It's not the letters you think it is. It's, um, one syllable Joy! Joy. Pox? 
Fox, Cox, Rox, Knox, Lox, Cox, Close. Bach. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> that is uh, SARS. Oh. But I hear toilets yeah. still. There's no S's in there at all. <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, so all 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 of this uh, aside, I I made this I cut this from the local radio station I steal it from 3 or 4 weeks ago and uh, I don't remember a lot of the stuff, but I I did make it uh, uh the information is listed here. I wrote this one it just says bad audio and I'm going to play it. So good luck. This was uh, your next clue. No, I did not say poo poo. No, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. Summer. You're close. Look at. <laughs> the, the, oh, somebody already said it in chat. As, uh, it is. Here, here is. <laughs> I love this kid so much. Uh, here's the. the I, this one is the, the. This one is labeled good audio. So that is. Uh, that is the bubonic plague, indeed. Uh, I do love this. This. Boo -boo 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 -boo. No, I didn't say poo poo. No, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. Summer. You're close. Look at. <laughs> I couldn't imagine trying to wrangle a fucking kid to do this shit. <laughs> All right, your next one is very obvious. Color bias. Coronavirus. Color bias. You win. Uh, your next one. HIV. Eight HIV. HIV. You win. My man. So My man. Kid said HIV. Hey, you only needed two of the letters, apparently. Uh, next clue. Cholera. Cholera. You win. Damn, dude! Cool. Brother, I've watched a lot of House and a lot of fucking monsters inside. We've of there, we've right? also got like <laughs> twenty of these in our wheelhouse at this point. Now, understanding children is a thing that happens when you are. Uh, no, it's not that. There, there's always these ones where you already know the. You know what I mean? Like somebody already yes. knows the answers, so it's like you just have to hear enough of it to know what you know. This would have been a good one for you to have uh, with a guest on. <laughs> You've been fucking landing it. Uh, next clue. Leprosy. Leprosy. Jesus. Leprosy. You win. Impressed. Ebola. Ebola. Oh, my. You win. My, I, I'm not hitting my stream deck hard enough. <laughs> yeah, no, come on. We're, we're in speed. We're in lightning. Right, yeah, no. <laughs> apparently, at this point, apparently, this is the fucking the 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 the, the, the amazing one. Your next clue. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. You win. All right, all right. That Next one was clue. a little tough. That one was a little. That tough. one was a little tough. That one was like that one was clear as a bell. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. I mean, you did it. Anyways, next clue. Oh, the fuck! That's not working. All right, next clue. Yellow fever. Yellow fever? Jesus. You win! Yellow fever. Your next clue. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. That's some summer flair. Can I hear it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Horses? Doesn't start with the H you think it does. I don't think syphilis is a is. Um, just everything you think you're in your head, just take it out and throw it in the trash. We already did. Sorry, Sunbun. Uh. She struggles at the start. It starts with a T. I don't know. 
I really don't know, man. Psoriasis. Psoriasis. <laughs> it's a type of, uh, that is somehow, some are saying tuberculosis. Oh. Psoriasis. <laughs> The struggles, yeah. The struggles. The absolute... See, if I got even like a kind of a B in there somewhere, I probably would have th thought tuberculosis, but no, nah, no. Nah, she skipped. She skipped over a lot of them. Tuberculosis. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no consonant landed. Uh, your next clue. Rabies. Rabies. You win. Rabies. Uh, your next clue. Influenza. Influenza? Influenza. You win! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sing songy bullshit. Uh, this one I didn't know, but hey, goods, goods for everyone that does. Dengue fever. Dengue fever? What are all of you? You win. How did you get that? That was that was not okay. I heard fever, and there was a D sound. So I didn't even fever. know what dengue fever was. What is? Okay. All right. Different. Different world. Yeah, uh, me and Sunbun out here, dog. <laughs> In our Jesus. lives. Jesus. Me and uh, one really infectious diseases. <laughs> your last two. Where is this? That sounds like coronavirus again. It does, but it's apparently a different oh, one. Uh, Where is this? I'm not giving help Four. anymore because apparently you ruined my game <laughs> at this point. Hey, Kara, Kara, Bad weaves close. Where virus? No, not AIDS virus. It's a, it's um it's a type of uh retrovirus. No, close. Re 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 retro re 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 close. Oh, back to get it. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, whack it, okay. whack it! God damn it! Rotavirus. Okay. this? I was trying to figure out the TV yeah, show that Rota yeah. was in. I was just like, I knew it was something close to that, and then when I saw whack it, type fucking Mary Tyler like, Moore. Fuck, that's what it is. <laughs> fucking Rotavirus. But you were, you were, you were literally sitting there going Rota, Rita, 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 and I was like, oh my god, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, your uh, your final one uh, is blood flu. Blood, blue flu. How are you not getting this one? This one's so okay. The flu is it's it? Oh, it's, bird, it's bird flu. flu. Fuck! I heard blue and it threw me off. I heard blue flu. Blue flu. So I was like, what the fuck is blue? Out of the flu? other ones that you got, I was like, how did you not get this one? That is the last <laughs> of them and all that shit. So. I, well, I hard hurt blue there and it just it threw me off. <laughs> blue so flu. Blue flu. But yeah, hey, we're all there dying. Right. So uh that was my uh so 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 Kaz, last week when we were talking about it, uh and I said I had a or not was it two weeks ago? And I was like, I got a uh a, t uh, a time sensitive summer school. <laughs> And you're like, uh, even if it's time sensitive, we shouldn't do it. And I was like, okay, well, I hope it still exists <laughs> uh, later. And then now it's two weeks later and it's more pertinent than ever. And it probably would be yep. still pertinent for a couple weeks. <laughs> I was very much like, oh man, we gotta, we gotta land this one before it's, uh, before it's out of a, a season, <laughs> as they say. Uh, but anyways. That was the the game I had prepared. So, hope you enjoyed. And I know it. Uh, I, I think we're done here. Yeah. 
uh, thank you guys for for checking out the podcast that you always do. We're very, 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 very loving of you guys being around, joining us, and having fun with us. Uh, we know these are trying times, so make sure you just keep on doing your thing. Join the Twitch. Uh, come watch us every week as we stream some games. I think I'm going to start uh, working on my streaming schedule, so uh, be sure to go on over. Check out uh, twitch.tv slash kingcast. Uh, make sure you stay here, twitch.tv slash drunkkidsgaming, to see what Curly's going to be playing each and every week. Um and yeah, kind of keep your ears out on the Twitters and in the Discords for what we might be doing with our travel plans as the year goes on and uh, uh, things get shut down and canceled and all that stuff starts to happen. Um, other than that, while you're on quarantine, maybe go back and listen to some past episodes of uh, the podcast. Uh, and if you like what you hear, go on over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash uh, DKG Welp. <laughs> I forgot what it is because I haven't looked at it in a couple of days because I'm working on other stuff for it. Um, and yeah, just just do that. Or DKGTV.com slash DKG Welp. Just uh, follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash curly, twitter.com slash kingkaz. Even if you want to hold on to your pennies because the apocalypse is coming, just follow us on Twitter. That's all we ask. Yeah, my, my, my final thing will be saying, hey, uh, if you are uh, going or intending to uh, come to the DKG Vegas uh, yeah, the Discord is going to be the, the first place that I post information in regards to if it's happening or not and how it's happening and how we're doing things so if you are a person who is concerned about that please be there uh, for the foreseeable future and uh, your secondary uh, access to the information is going to be Twitter that's my secondary area that I put out things to but uh, thank you guys for being so honestly awesome because everyone has been amazing and uh, understanding and super cool about uh, all of this shit. So I love you all to death. You guys are amazing. Uh, stick around for the end of the episode or the, uh, the the post the post show where we have to come up with a, a title for uh, what what the show is called. Uh, but this will be the end of the episode. So have a great night, everybody. I love you. We had a great time and enjoy the show. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs>